I think Dumbarton Rock, just by virtue of the fact that it has quite a unique style of climbing, it's steep, it's very modernistic, has, has actually contributed hugely to the development of, of, of Scottish rock climbing. I think he's setting a new, a new standard in British climbing by, by doing a route of, A, of this sustained nature and technical difficulty, but also with that sort of fall potential. And it's, I've always waved the Scottish flag, so I'm really pleased to see that there's a Scottish climber climbing at that level. Great bit of climbing. Um, I'm sure we'll do it quite soon. This is the start of April, and the last time I was on the lead was the middle of October. So I've had a whole winter to go away and train, um, and, and also get come back and work the route and get used to the new sequence for the crocs. Um, so I feel much better, I'm mean, climbing really well. Um, all my preparation was great, I did two 48 Bs um, and came back to the route and in the past week I've, I've actually linked it on the top rope first try for the last four sessions in a row. The friction was amazing today though, was, the conditions were absolutely perfect. I always hated wearing a helmet rope climbing, I always felt it really put me off. Uh, so I always kind of tried to resist wearing it at any opportunity, you know. But when I got this really light one, I was like, there's not really any excuse not to, not to wear it. confident, got through all the crocs, the strongest I've ever felt on it, and then um, on, on. passed the crocs in the last few moves, and made a couple of little mistakes, yeah. and then just cost me the route. <laughs> and, and then I had a really bad fall, ah! that was the most painful one yet. <laughs> ah! I cut my foot, my left foot, and I sprained my right ankle quite badly, uh, so it's quite, quite bad. Quite frustrating as well. <laughs> I was pretty glad I had a helmet on today. A, I mean, I hit the rock really hard. I was really aware that it's like that was a proper impact. And if I, if I'm heel had caught the rope and I'd hit that with my head, that would not have been very good. I don't think. <laughs> so I think the helmet will definitely be staying on for the forthcoming attempts. Was, was that clear you were speaking to on the phone before? Um, yeah, I just said yeah. Tried the route, had a bit of a fall. <laughs> She's like, you okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure after she's going out tonight, so I need to pop loads of ibuprofen, and then by the time she gets in, I'll be, I'll be fine. <laughs> after, after the last few days, I had a few days off because of my ankles, 
Um, and then winter came back and it started snowing in the mountains and, and pouring with rain here. But then yesterday it was lovely and sunny and dry. It's still cold, but that dried up the crag nicely. And then today was going to be lovely and sunny and dry as well, which it was up until about an hour and a half ago. But, um, well, I'm taking a bit of a change now. <laughs> And it's now pouring with snow. <laughs> so, so today, uh, Claire was going to be like, uh, yeah. How was that going to work? You um, fine as long as it didn't fall off. <laughs> yeah, um, and hopefully she's going to bring me a bit of luck as well, because I was trying out the top rope and on my shunt a few weeks ago, and felt like I was getting on better, but felt like I needed a bealy on it. Um, you know, to see if I could get the kind of flow with the moves again. And sure enough, Claire came around and belayed me. It's the first time she's ever belayed me on this route. And I linked it in, in one go, first try. <laughs> so I was hoping she was going to bring me some luck again today. I'm not too bothered today because it means I can just, just do some bouldering. If I get impatient about actually getting this route in the bag, it'll just mess with my head. <laughs> I think um, the time I'll do this route is when uh, it's least expected. <laughs> Which might be, which might be in a while, like it might brighten up and I'll go on it and feel fine and then yeah. do it. Mm -hmm. It's weird, it just messes with your head when you've been getting psyched up and nervous for like three days. And then you get here and it's like, oh, well, we can't do it. And now the sun's coming out again, it's like, well, maybe there might be enough time for it to dry out before the sun goes down. And you're like, oh. <laughs> That's still all damp just now, mm -hmm. so I kind of want that to be a bit drier, but the sun's still reasonably high in the sky. It might dry up yet. And like, the hold you have to go for to pull over has got a puddle in it, <laughs> which isn't really very nice. don't know, it's all a bit kind of... <laughs> Hi Claire. Yeah? Yeah. I think there should be enough daylight for me to have an attempt and it's dried up a bit, so... Yeah, would you be able to come around and give us a bailey? Cool. Yeah, yeah. Alright, see you soon. nervous the whole way there. Oh. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. 
believe it. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> it's great that great that Clara was here as well. Yeah, I know. Well, she brought the luck after all, eh? Yeah. Better shake her, actually. Claire, you brought the good luck after all. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe you should have come down weeks ago. <laughs> she said she should have come down weeks ago. <laughs> good point. <laughs> I just feel totally relieved and totally looking forward to whatever's next. <laughs> <laughs>